Waiters receive up-to-date information on the balance of dishes in the out-of-stock list. In this example, the manager has clocked into the ICO system. They will then use the out-of-stock list button. From here, they have two options. They can select the remaining amount of an item, or they can mark it instantly out of stock. For the sirloin steak, the manager selects 15. This is specifying the remaining item quantity, how many we have left in stock. It is shown in the top right corner of the dish name button. The king prawn risotto is out of stock. In this case, it will have a large grey X over the dish name button. The manager has the option to print the out of stock list. We now clock in as a waiter with lower access rights than the manager. As you can see on the main order screen, the King Prawn Risotto has a large grey X in the middle. This indicates that there is no stock. And as the waiter has lower permissions, they are unable to add this item to the order. However, the sirloin steak has a number associated with it. After every transaction, this number is reduced, giving the staff an indication of how many of these items are left in stock. When you sell the entire remaining quantity of the dish, it will be automatically put on the out of stock list. This calculation is performed immediately after printing a dish to the kitchen or at a payment for an unprinted order, the balance is always reduced. And after deleting printed dishes without write-off, the balance is then increased. Modifiers can also be included in the out of stock list. Clocking back in as the manager, we can then make adjustments to the out of stock list. The manager can see that the King Prawn Risotto is still marked as out of stock. They can go into the out of stock list and simply click delete when it's back in stock. We can then clock back in as the waiter and add the King Prawn Risotto to any further orders. For more information or to see more training videos, please visit us at ico.co.uk.